My first recommendation is for my original villager, Jeremiah, who I got when I started my island and went villager hunting for the first time. He is a foodie. He is a blue frog. He's always eating or drinking something on the island, preferably an orange juice. And when he is crafting, he makes orange walls. Um, an orange dress, etc. And he's always talking about food whenever we interact. So because he loves food, I am going to be recommending him the graphic novel Bloom by Kevin Pandetta and illustrated by Savannah Ganacho. This is about a boy named Ari who is fresh out of high school and he wants to move to the big city with his band. He has to work in his family's bakery. So it is Ari's job to find someone who will replace him and he ends up meeting a boy named Hector and love starts to bloom and I think that this is a great graphic novel. I really enjoyed the chemistry between Hector and Ari. I really enjoyed this for the illustrations and just seeing the bakery come to life and I think it was a very important storyline. Hector is very quick. He's a really great baker and he makes some great pastries and I wish I could have tried them for myself. I think Jeremiah would really like this and it would make him hungry as well so I could expect him crafting some of the recipes from the book in his house. Next I have Stella who's one of my newer villagers. She's a sheep. She's very peppy and sisterly. A couple days ago we were talking about comics and unfortunately I don't have any comic recommendations because I'm not a big comic reader but I am going to recommend to her the graphic novel Stargazing by Jen Wang. I really chose this recommendation for Stella because like her this book is also filled with colorful illustrations and I really enjoyed the art style so I think that she would also appreciate it. But the story is also really great and I think she would enjoy it. This is about two girls, Christine and Moon. Both girls are living in a Chinese American suburb and they meet for the first time. This book really encompasses the phrase don't judge a book by its cover because Christine judges Moon right off the bat because of some rumors that she hears but they actually end up getting really close and I think that would be perfect because as Stella is a new villager I am getting to know her and I think that this would really help us get a little bit closer. Next is one of my favorite villagers who gets a lot of hate but I love her nonetheless and this is Bubbles. She's a hippo and she is also a pop star um, and we talk a lot about books too. A lot of the villagers talk about comics and so this is basically a graphic novel recommendation video. My villagers really have the wrong booktuber. They should be asking Cecilia from Cecilia Reads because her whole channel is about comics and manga so I would direct them to her but my recommendation for Bubbles is one of my favorites, Bingo Love by T. Franklin. This love story starts in 1963 and spans over the course of 60 years. Following two black women, Hazel and Mari, due to unacceptance and the time period, the two women are forced away from each other and meet decades later in a bingo hall. Their love is rekindled when they see each other in a bingo hall 60 years later. And so it is about them finally being able to be true to themselves. There's bisexual, pansexual, and queer representation in this book and it does have an all black cast. I really enjoyed it and it just screamed love is love and it was just really fun to read. Next up is Rudy who was one of my original villagers and I got him when I started my island. He was one of the original three. He's a cat and he's also a jock. He's always screaming and running around my island and asking me if I want to go on a jog with him. Yesterday he asked me if I would like to run some laps with him. Um, I said no. I'm good. I'm going to recommend him Dragon Hoops by Jean Louis Yang, which is a graphic novel about a high school basketball team, The Dragons, set in California. This is a nonfiction book and is about Jean just kind of documenting and getting to know more about why this basketball team is so popular. It's all anyone can talk about in the school and he has no idea why. I always pitch it as like a documentary because it feels like one even though in the book he says it's not. It definitely is. Um, and I learned a lot of things about basketball that I haven't before. Rudy is more of like a rugby guy, but I think that he would really gain a lot from this. 
I think that Rudy would enjoy this. It is pretty long, so it might take him a while, but it was really good, and I think that he would get some great knowledge about basketball from this book. Next, I have Huck, who is a woodsy villager. He is a frog, and he's just always picking up sticks. He's always got them in his hand, um, and he loves fossils. He loves when I give, them, give him fossils, so I am going to recommend to him two books that are, like, woodsy. The first book I'm going to recommend does have a trigger warning for sexual assault, so I will have a timestamp on the screen and down below so you can skip if that is something that is triggering for you. I'm going to recommend Our Island Required Read, Beartown by Frederick Bachman. This is about Beartown, a small forest town. It is completely fictional and it follows the boys junior hockey team. Hockey is all anyone can talk about in this town. It's basically what they're known for. The whole town is shooken up when a 15 year old girl is sexually assaulted by one of the boys on the hockey team and it does talk all about that but it also talks about the ins and out of hockey. It talks about poverty. It talks about just so many themes about hockey and it is set in the woods and it is such a great world and I really love it so I think that Huck would also enjoy it. And then I have to recommend a graphic novel because apparently I'm just gonna recommend graphic novels in this whole video so welcome to a graphic novel recommendations video but I have Be Prepared by Vera Broskal. This is the most woodsy book that I could ever recommend. This is about Vera's experiences during her childhood at a Russian summer camp and so this is set during the whole summer at a summer camp and it follows so many themes of coming of age trying to fit in because Vera also was at a stay away camp I think that Huck would be able to relate to that because the island is a little bit similar so I think you would find some relatability in this book and the majority of the time it is set outside so I do think he would enjoy this. Next is one of my favorite villagers who I actually went on a hunt for and this is Sydney. She is a purple koala and she is so great. I love her so much and she makes me very happy. I was very happy when I found her, I think on like my fifth try. What I've learned about Sydney is she loves to sing. Anywhere, anytime, she's always singing. It could be in the plaza, it could be when she's watering flowers, she could literally just be standing outside and she's singing. So you can only probably guess what book I'm going to recommend to her. I am recommending The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk because I'm going to force everyone to read this. This book follows three teens, Shay, Autumn, and Logan who have all lost someone close to them and it is all about their grieving process but they also all have one thing in common which is a band and so they come together through music and I think that she would really enjoy this. I really enjoy it so I'm gonna force her and everyone in my life to read it. Next is Chevra, who I also think was one of my original villagers or I just picked her up when I started my island and she loves to read. She's always reading on the island and she has bookshelves in her home. We're always talking about books. She's always talking about reading romance books or she has her magnifying glass out. So I'm going to recommend to her Goldie Vance and the Hotel Who Done It by Lilium Rivera. This is a novelization of the comic series Goldie Vance by Hope Larson. Goldie Vance is a 16-year-old biracial queer detective who lives in a hotel with her father. Both parents are divorced. She was on the case of the missing diamond-encrusted swim cap that goes missing during the filming of a mermaid movie that is being shot at a restaurant that her mother works at. And it does follow Hollywood and this mystery. I think that Chevrolet would really enjoy this because it does have a lot of elements that she enjoys. Next is Gruff, who is actually a villager that just ended up moving in in replace of another villager. And I've grown to really enjoy him. I didn't really like him at first, but now I'm kind of enjoying him. He's fun. Um, he's very chill. And as all my villagers do, he is another villager who has talked about comics with me and graphic novels. So I am going to recommend to him Sweet Tooth. I think you would enjoy this. I really have no explanation for why I'm recommending this to Gruff other than I just get the vibes. I don't know. I just get Gruff vibes from this book. This is set in a post-apocalyptic world following a boy named Gus who is a human hybrid. His father is killed by a deadly virus and he has to fend for himself and basically the first volume is what I've read so this is all I can really go off of but 
he meets the other hybrid children who they're trying to kill off and it is just a wild strange book. Like I said, this one is really hard to explain, but I think that you just kind of have to get to know Gruff to understand why I'm recommending him this book, but it does give me some Gruff vibes. I think he would enjoy a book set in a post-apocalyptic setting opposed to anything like a contemporary. Next, I have Zell, who is very smug. He also made a villager cry once, um, so... <laughs> I kind of have a love-hate relationship with him. Uh, you kind of have to get him on a good day. You feel like you're underdressed when you go into his house. He has a grand piano and he's just very sophisticated. So I'm going to recommend to him the poetry collection Homie by Denez Smith. I just think that poetry is sophisticated and he would enjoy this. It's one of my favorite poetry collections of the year and I think he would enjoy it. Um, it is basically just a work of poetry about being being black and queer and non-binary and I really enjoyed it. I think there are some fantastic poems in this book and he would enjoy it. And my last villager is Portia who I just got and I love her. She is so great and fun and she was also very sophisticated. Portia always is boosting my self-esteem by complimenting me on my outfits. So I'm gonna recommend to her the graphic novel Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This is about a prince who is basically living a double life and at night they go onto the town and are transformed into a fashion icon, Lady Chrysalia. They are wearing these exquisite dresses and they are basically living a double life and it is a a really fun graphic novel and I really enjoyed the discussion about gender and they have great dresses honestly. Um, the illustrations are really great and I really loved seeing the dresses come to life. Frances the dressmaker is an underrated character and I think that Portia would be able to relate to her and I think that she would just really enjoy the illustrations of the dresses and this book has a really great message as well so I think she would enjoy this book. So that is it for me recommending my Animal Crossing Villagers books. I think that Allie was the original creator of this, so I will link it down below. As always, make sure to check my description down below for updated petitions, donation links, and other links that I have provided to help important causes. If you are a Georgia resident, the U.S. Senate runoff election is going to be happening on January 7th. You can register to vote until December 7th, and early voting is on December 14th. I have signed up through voteforward.org that I found through Tyler Oakley and I'm going to be sending letters to Georgia residents to encourage them to vote so I would love for you to join me. If anyone else is going to participate in this definitely DM me and let me know. I would love to have like a whole group of people do this because it would just be fun to do it all together. So I'm going to be doing that. That is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.